Hello friends how are you I hope you will find Lindsay Horan has rejected criticism of how the U.S. women's soccer team has been performing at the Women's World Cup, labeling it as noise. The U.S. women's national team drew 0-0 with Portugal on Tuesday, a result that confirmed the four-time world champion as runner-up in Group E. But not before the Americans came painfully close to exiting the tournament when Portugal substitute Ana Capeta hit the post in the dying moments of the game. It's noise. Sometimes, you know, you hear it, you see it, and sometimes it's hard to get away from it. USWNT co-captain Horan told a media conference on Thursday in response to a question about criticism from pundits and fans. Point one of those pundits was two-time World Cup winner and former USWNT player. Carly Lloyd who quipped on the Fox broadcast that the player of the match was that post a reference to Portugal coming close to a famous win late on adding that her former teammates are lucky to not be going home right now. You guys are all watching us. Everyone in the world gets to have their opinion. And it's the World Cup, you know, it's the biggest stage, added Horan as she looked ahead to the team's last 16 knockout match against Sweden on Sunday. We're playing for these big matches. We're playing for these big moments these pressure cookers. And that's what we want to be a part of. And being the U.S. national team, we're always going to have that. You guys always want to talk about us and we're going to take that pressure, she added. We're going to go with it. But we're going to focus on ourselves and look at everything internally and try to keep the noise out as much as possible. Forward Lynn Williams added, we are not panicking. We have made it to the round of 16. I think that we haven't played our best soccer yet, which is the most exciting part for us. We are a team that are going to battle. After Tuesday's game, U.S. coach Vlatko Andonovsky said it was insane for anyone to question the team's commitment, to question the mentality of this team, to question the willingness to win, to compete, I think is insane, Andonovsky told CNN post-match on Tuesday. Everyone is entitled to opinion and, you know, they can say whatever they want. But I just know how this team feels, he added, though he did acknowledge that the team underperformed against Portugal. It's not like we played well by any means, but we owned it, said Andonovsky. We know that it's not good enough. We're not happy with our performance but we qualify for the next round. We're moving on. Ahead of Sunday's knockout match with Sweden, midfielder Horn said that while she expected the game to be difficult, the team knows what to do and can expose the world no. Three to win the game, this will be the seventh World Cup meeting between the two teams and the first in the knockout stages, according to FIFA. The U.S. has won four of the previous six World Cup meetings, according to the World Soccer Governing Body. But Sweden won the last meeting between the two teams in July 2021 at the Tokyo Olympics, a 3-0 win in the group stage. Sweden also drew with the U.S. in 2015 and beat them in 2011, the last time any team defeated the U.S. women's national team inside regulation at a World Cup. The U.S. U.S. defeated the Scandinavian side in the group stage in 2019.